ஒரே ஆட்டு வரும் மதிப்பிற்குரிய திரு ஜி கே வாசன் அவர்களே மதிப்பிற்குரிய திரு ஏ கே பழனிவேல் அவர்களே மேடை உள்ள மரியாதைக்குரியவர் அவர்களே அனைத்து வித்வான விதூசி அவர்களே இங்கே கூட்டி இருக்கும் அனைத்து மரியாதைக்குரியவர்களே அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் on this auspicious occasion i being here along with my wife we feel immensely blessed immensely blessed <coughs> for multiple reasons both of us were born in the lap of mother ganga but right from our childhood every day we learn from our parents to say prayers and one of the prayers was prayers to all the sacred rivers of our country bharat the prayer begins with ganga mother ganga and concludes with mother kaveri it says ganga cha yamune chaiva godavari saraswati narmada sindhu kaveri jale asmin samridhik samridhik samadham karu to be blessed to come over to get the blessings of mother kaveri we are blessed we are blessed because also on this occasion we are at the samadhi at the land where one of the greatest devotee of lord sri rama the great tyagaraj swami gal he walked on this place he walked around every inch of this land is auspicious is holy and here he composed thousands of songs in praise of lord sri rama lord sri rama is the cultural icon of the whole bharat from one end to the other north to south east to west wherever we go we find lord sri rama in the heart of the people of every bharatiya <coughs> be it in the remote tribal areas of northeast to go to the run of kutch from kanyakumari to kashmir all over we find our people connected with by the devotion to lord sri rama <coughs> the great saint tyagaraj he was such an intense devotee of sri rama that we all we all have been told that lord sri rama appeared to him time and again with his love with his devotion with his bhakti he brought sri rama to himself he was he got ekakar he got identified and united with lord sri rama we all know that our country this bharat this great country 
has been built by our rishis, our saints, our sages, our poets. This country is unique in the world. Unique in the sense that unlike other countries in the world, this country has not been built by any ruler, any strong man, any Bahubali. It has been created by our sages, our rishis, our poets, who several thousand years ago, to whom the ultimate wisdom of creation and creator was revealed, that there is a one creator, one God, one Brahma, and having creator is permeated in the entire creation, every being, humans, animals, plants, all are vivid and, and various diverse manifestation of the same divine. This Sanatana Dhyatma that gave rise to a Sanatan Kalachar that doesn't exclude anyone, it includes everyone. And this wave which started from south, started from this very land, Tamil Gam, it has spread over to the whole of country and the whole of country got united as a one family, one kutumbam. <clears throat> this is Bharat. And so our great Tyagrat Swamigal was a builder of this Bharat. He, people usually identify him as a great musician. Yes, a great musician. A musician par excellence he was. But music to him was a medium, was a medium to connect with the Lord Sri Rama. Music has been a part of our adhyatma to connect with the divine. That is why in various, one of the form of Brahma is Nad Brahma. Various forms our rishis have created, how to connect with the divine. Bhakti and bhakti through music is the most powerful medium to connect with the divine. Often we mention about our great Tyagaraj Swami as one of the trinity Carnatic music. No doubt he was, but he was. We often don't mention, at least in our common parlance, common discussions, that he was a great saint, he was a devotee of Lord Sri Rama, and through the bhakti, he carried forward the Sanatana Dhyatma, which built this country, Bharat. He was a builder of, he was one of those rishis, one of those saints, who build this country. And this place, this is a Tirtham. This is a Tirtham, not only for the music lovers, the music, I mean, great musicians, Vidwan and Vidusis. This is a Tirtha for all the Bharatiya, all those who believe in the Bhakti, all those who love Sri Rama. And as we know, the whole country loves Sri Lama. It is, it should develop. I would like to see this place developing as a Tirtham for all the Bharatiyas. <clears throat> we feel Dhanya, we feel this is a Punya Bhumi. It is a, so feel Dhanya, Dhanya to, to come over here and walk, you feel the vibration, you feel the, that subtle touch of that great saint whose feet purified this land. And I am grateful to this Tyag Brahma Mahotsav Sabha, which has been carrying it, the tradition. I am thankful to all the people who have been for the last nearly 175, 76 years, have been carrying on the tradition. I am grateful to the great 
तेरु जी के मुंह बनार हु गेव इट सच ए बिग पूस इन्वॉल्विंग हिज ओन पर्सनल वेल्थ बिल्डिंग इन अप and i also appreciate the legacy being carried on by tiruji ke vasan in the way it is carried on i think this place deserves deserves the devotion of the entire country all must chip in one all must build it the man the temple of sri rama is being built in ajodhya i think a great temple of the devotee of that great sri rama our tyagraj swami gal is to be built here it should be built and it should be the place where everyone from all over they should come they should feel blessed they should get the blessings and we should carry on carry on the unity of this country as a, as a kutumbam through our culture through our shared culture shared as spirituality shared devotion to lord sri rama now we are we are today we all know that our country the great bharat is an ex experiencing an unprecedented resurgence today the world looks at this country with a sense of pride and with a sense of expectation today the world does not look at this country as a one of the third world countries till until some years back people looked at this country as a third world country a country with 100 nearly 140 crores people the country with such a great legacy such a great heritage where in every field in the field of science technology spirituality music agriculture industry this country bharat was the leader of the world until the 18th century until the 18th century bharat was the economic powerhouse of the world this over 200 period of colonization has ruined it but we are committed to rebuild it we are committed to restore the glory of this bharat with a sense of pride in our past with a sense of pride in who we are whose descendants we are we are the descendants of the great cholan king we are the descendants of tyagaraj swami gal with this sense of pride we move forward and the next 25 years that what is we call is amrit kal we have to build bharat as the number one country in the world as the leader of the world as vishva guru of the world and bharat to be the vishva guru is not just a need of bharat rishi arvindo the great rishi arvindo he mentioned he went at the time when india became free free when the british left this country he mentioned that the, the entire universe mother earth is the only evolutionary planet it is only evolutionary planet where life not only evolves but it's continuing to evolve we are all evolving we are all evolving and in this on this evolutionary planet bharat is the only country where this sanatan adhyatma emerged which talks about universality of the creation oneness of creation there is no difference between you and i all of you sitting here several hundred thousand of you you are a different a various manifestation of the same divine to which i am i am able to see myself in all of you and you are able to see yourself in me this is this is the sanatan adhyatma bharat this was and this is what our rishis when they began when they realized they started the prayer sarve bhavantu sukhina sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukh bhag bhavet 
let every being be happy. Let every being be free of diseases. Let everyone see the goodness in others and let everyone live in peace and harmony. It is this Adhyatma, Adhyatma that gave the, our call, Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam, the world is a family. And today, the, this Bharat, having assumed the leadership of G20, which is the most influential group of country, most influential countries in the world, accounting for 85% of the GDP of the world. Bharat is the chairperson of, chair, chairman of that particular group. Our motto is Vasudhaiva Kutumbakam. <clears throat> the world is a family. One earth, one family, one future. This oneness comes only from this land because this is in our sanskar. Today, when the world is facing multiple crises, whether class crisis of climate going to, looks like going to destroy the earth, war, we see, have seen how the people, that some countries in the world are equipped with power, the power of destruction, so much power of destruction that each, those countries have they can destroy the whole world many times over. We see differences, we see terrorism, we see people driven by rabid ideology of exclusivity, either my way or highway. At this point of time, Bharat is the light of the world and Bharat has to rise, Bharat has to rise for the sake of the world, for saving the world. It is an obligation on Bharat. It is a duty of Bharat. And here in this period, it is the duty of all of us to remain united, to remain un united as a family, to remain beholden to our ancient heritage, and look forward, build this country as a strong, capable country. We have to be economically strong, we have to be militarily strong, we have to be spiritually strong. Our, our darshan, our adhyatma has been there with us for several thousand years, but the world didn't take us seriously because we didn't have the strength and the capacity to make the world listen. Shukracharj in the Sukraniti says, Sanyada vina na rajyam na dhanam na parakrama balino vasga sarve durvalashya cha satruva. If you are strong, you are surrounded by friends, or rest, you are all your enemies if you are weak. Bharat has to be strong, Bharat has to be samarth, Bharat has to be capable. And with the compassion, with the heart, that we are all one, Bharat has to rise. Bharat has to rise in the dream of Swami Vivekananda. Which, which muscles are of iron, sinews are of steel, but heart is Vedantic. We are compassionate. It's not hegemonic. It's not a brutal display of power. We love, we see everyone, not only humans, but everything. Every element of this Mother Earth is a member of our family because whether we are human, we are animal, we are plant, we are all children of this Mother Earth. Ah, this is our mother. With this sense, we have to rise, protect our mother, protect all the children of the mother. And this is a duty, divinely mandated duty, cast on us and Bharat must achieve it. And here we are all fortunate to be a witness to this rise and also be a participant in this rise. We all must contribute to what, where the destiny of Bharat lies to be the Vishu Guru. On this occasion, when I am here before you, on this, at the feet of this great saint, Tyagra Swamigal, I wish all of you present here and of those who are not present, all of us, people of Tamil Nadu, people of Bharat, people of the world, the very best, a peaceful world, a peaceful and harmonious world. With this, I conclude 
once again at the feet of Lord Sri Rama and his great devotee, Stiagraj Swamigal. Thank you very much. Walaka Bharata Jai Hind. I know.